and I'm not going to leave me behind. So it's impossible to get ahead of anything or anyone, anytime, anywhere, anyhow. Now, Mitzi, let's go back and start this show. Mode of cosmic therapies. A mode. We each have a mode of how we live and how we conduct our lives. Let's see what this is. It's an 11. 6 and 5 is 11. Ah! There's that 19 again. Wow! So we've got some innocence that we possess within us. That's what we are. We are innocence totally because we are children of the sun. But because we contrive our lives with ideas of what it's supposed to be, how it's supposed to be, who we're supposed to be, what we're supposed to get, what we're going to end up with, how big a house we're going to live in, what car we're going to drive, what position we're going to have, how much power we're going to exert over other people, and the influence. We want to influence people. We can't be dumb as a rock. If we'd be dumb as a rock, then we would be innocents because we'd be fully, fully showered with the sun's enamored rays. So because we do have ideas, we live our lives in misery. If you have an exterior cause, you are a person most miserable. I think it was Paul that said, if it was in this life alone that I had hope, I would be a man most miserable. Hmm. Now what in the world could he possibly have meant by that? Could he have possibly meant that he didn't contrive and he didn't put stock in these things? in these um, achievements, in these rewards, and accolades. Boy, I was trying to say something else. I think I was trying to say acclaim. Let's see if I was. You want to, Mitzi? Let's see if that's what I was trying to do with acclimates. accolades. Wow, I've been written on a lot of paper. Okay, let's see what a claim is. Paul did not seek any acclaim. One, three, three, three. Remember what I said? Creativity. Okay, three, 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 one. One, nine, and four. So we've got a, an 11. There's that justice again, Mitzi. There's that justice again. What do we deserve? What do we think we deserve? We think we deserve a whole lot more than what we get. And then 13. Is that not right? Nine and 13 giving us a 24, which gives us a six. Six on the letter high on the letter and on the level of this earth it is conflict it is also beauty and beauty can be a real curse Paula what do you mean it can be a curse because if you are beautiful, if you really, truly, tr let's just say beautiful in the sense of one word. Somebody thinks you've got the, the prettiest face, prettiest hair, prettiest body. You got it all. You got it all. Then you won't have to work as hard. There'll be doors opened up for you. And you won't have to struggle like that plant. Well, that's an artificial plant. A plant to grow, to bloom, to live, to be. And so therefore you'll think you're entitled to things. And when you think you're entitled to things, E-N-T-I-L-T-E-D, um, whatever it is, you will have 
that sense of deserving something or that you're supposed to have something that you don't necessarily have. So we don't want the acclaim. If we don't want the acclaim, we don't want the accolades either. Culmination. The culmination of everything that I've said so far. Let's see where we're at, Mitzi. Culmination. 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 Three. 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 Wow. I think we are supposed to create. I think we are so full of creativity. I think that we are the product of creation. I think we are creators, co-creators. And I think that if we are not engaging in these activities without, 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 a lust of result. We are men most miserable. Let's go on. Four, nine, five, one, two, nine, six. Uh oh, and put that up there. Mitzi would have caught me. Three, twelve, thirteen, twenty-two, twenty-eight. Let's see if that's right. Three, twelve, thirteen, twenty-two, twenty-eight. That's my most favorite number in the whole wide world. Okay, we've got a 6, 10, 15, 17, 22. Get out of here. Get out of here, Mitzi. Get out of it. This is when I get so excited. Let me make sure that I didn't make Three and nine is 12, 13, 22, 28. Three, six, 10, 15, 17, five is 22. What do you think that that word culmination vibrates to? No. 50. 10 times 5. Experience. Experience, experience, culminating everything in your entire life has brought you to this place. Everything. You cannot go back and say, I shouldn't have done that. I really shouldn't have been with him. He did me wrong. You know, um, I won the lottery and I was really um, blessed. It's a culmination of everything. It all works together like a perfect puzzle. Every bit of it works together. You're in the center of it. All right. Single. Not one single solitary. Okay. Not one single solitary little teeny morsel can be left out. Not one single solitary iota can be elevated or can be debased. It is all part of the perfect, perfect, perfect. plan, the divine plan, if you will, of your life. OK, let's see what this one is. Oh, Mitzi, does it start with a 19? Is that not the sun one more time? Is that not the innocence that we are talking about throughout the show? This is the nine. Ah, 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 ah. Getting rid of the projected, what we think we should see. You know, if you married somebody and you're with them for 20 years, 
You don't meet that person the next morning, brand new and fresh, when you get up in the, you know, from your night's sleep. You meet a culmination of all the ideas you've had of that person. But if you could get rid of those, that projected eye of thought of being hurt or being elevated too, it's just as bad. Getting rid of the eye of projection. The eye. Okay, five. What do we got there? We got a seven. Yeah. And we got a three. And we got a five. Okay, every single solitary bit of it matters. Mitzi, you just can't get away from this stuff. I mean, I, okay, what I tell you that that 14 is? Balance. What are you trying to do? You're trying to get rid of the words. I heard myself say them already on the show. But I'm going to say I'm going to use them because I'm teaching. Get rid of the words good and bad. Why? Because you don't know what good is. You don't know what bad is. You are basing it upon distorted eyes. You are so fixed in your ideas. You know, when you think about it, that's really a dull, drab kind of way to live. That you just keep repeating the same things over and over. Because you know. You know what something's supposed to be. All right, where are we at? We got a 14 going on there. I'm going to take that down to a 1 for easy add addition. So we got 6, 7, 13, 16. Wow. Whoa. All right. I know for all of those of you who have been following my shows, you know what 30 is. You know what it is. Big business. So, to incorporate the reality that every single solitary thing that has ever happened to you, every word that's ever been spoken, every person you've ever met, encountered, or dreamed about, has something to do with it. When you know that, that single, wherever it's at, that single is 30. It is big business to do that. Ten times the creativity do you possess. You possess this. And any single one of you, single, didn't I say that word? Any single one of you that is saying, but Paula, I don't have any artistic talent. Oh, yes, you do. You have got 30 times it. It is big business in you. You have not even begun to exercise this talent that is makes you up. You haven't even begun to do that. You know why? Because you want something from it. You want, huh? You want you, that's the truth. That's really what you want. You want you. But what you're doing, you want something from it. Before you even try to do it. I'm going to write a book. Oh, you know, and I'm going to write a book and it's going to be a million seller and I'm going to make a million dollars. You want something from it. Oh, I'm going to paint a picture. And because I'm going to paint a picture, people are going to see it and they're going to say how wonderful it is and it's going to make me feel so great and magnificent and I'm going to be recognized for what I am. You want something from it. So, because you want something from it, if you have an exterior cause, you are a person most miserable. You are loaded with talent. You are, it's oozing out of every single cell that you possess. Sing, dance, write. Draw, paint, build. All the things that you could possibly imagine to do and more, they're inside of you. Do it. Do it for no other reason. Do it. Do it. Do it. 
for no other reason but because you want to do it. You want to do it. You want to do it. I want to do it. You are the walking embodiment of you. There is no one on the earth like you. You are not special. You are not separate. But you are you. And you've got to do you. No one can do you like you can do you. No one. And you know why you're doing you? This is the only reason you're doing you. The only reason. It's not what you're going to get, where you're going to go, whether you're going to go to heaven or hell and burn forever or play harps or whatever you're going to do. You're doing it for entertainment purposes only. That's all. That's what life is. That's it. There's nothing else but that. That's what it is, Jack. Three, nine, six, five. We got a 14 going on. That's that balance again. And what's the other word? The other one's going to be a nine. <gasps> Mitzi. What is that number? Experience. Experience. Feel the sensual sexual energy flowing through you. It is the creative energy of the divine. Okay, let's go back. I gotta pick up some of these things. What did I say I was gonna do? All right, so we have talked about misery. If you want something from the outside, whether that be from a person, place, or thing. You learned they were nouns, right? People, place, thing. If you're going on the vacation because you're going to relax, you want something, you're going to be miserable. If you're going to school so you can get a degree, so you can get a good job, so you can make money, you're going to be miserable and hate it. If you're going to school because you love going to school and whatever it ends up, then you're going to be happy, happier. Okay, so we've talked about culmination. We've talked about you don't want the acclaim. We've talked about every single solitary thing in your life fits together like a beautiful puzzle. We've talked about the experience. We've talked about that you're living in the world.